All right, tennis fans, players, and coaches, I've got a powerful lesson for you today on the serve. Now, the serve is my bread and butter. It's the shot I love to teach. It was my best shot on the tour, and I want to give you a very subtle tip that a lot of players and coaches don't pick up on. They focus on contact. They focus on the, the racket drop and acceleration, and all that is great, but I want you to understand a very small micro move that's very important to get your serve moving in the right direction. And so to solve your serve, I want you to focus on your first move. And what we're gonna get into in this lesson with one of my students in a second is how you can make this first move right here. It's just a couple of inches, a couple of inches right there can make all the difference in how you end up serving successfully out there on the court. So I've got Edward here, AKA David Ferrer, and uh, he is getting ready to serve. And first of all, before we get into the first move, we're gonna, have da uh, we're gonna have David, I mean, excuse me, Edward, we're gonna have him looking straight towards the fence there. Notice his stance. That is actually going to allow him to make this first move that I want. So the problem that we're seeing with a lot of servers is that when they make the first move, the arm goes straight like this. And I want you to initiate that first move with the shoulders. Now, make sure that the head stays there. Okay, so now you make that first move with the shoulders to serve. So I really want you to focus on that micro movement one or two inches before you start moving that racket where you really feel this move instead of the arms going straight with that initial move. So Edward's gonna go ahead and serve right now. So you can see that when he makes that proper first move, it does allow him to get full shoulder turn into that proper trophy position. So again, as a reminder, I want you to make sure that when your hands start to separate, you feel the shoulders start to move instead of the arms starting to move. So Edward's gonna go ahead and do that one more time. So that is really a huge key for you to practice, getting that little micro movement of your shoulders making that initial move instead of your arms. I really hope you received a ton of value from this lesson today. I want you to use these tips and strategies so that you can go to the next level with your tennis. If you want to get more free lessons that'll instantly improve your tennis game, help you win more matches, and have more fun while you're at it, go ahead and click the link below. I'm really excited to help you out, so go ahead and click the link below and get your free video lessons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.